my name is Tori Taylor. So I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm 45 years old right now. And I had a, a not a hard life, but a, a challenging life at, to this point. Grew up in a family of four kids, a um, household mother and father. Kind of dysfunctional. My parents divorced when I was seven years old. I was in sports a lot when I was a kid. I uh, played a lot of basketball. Gravitated towards the YMCA's boys club, things of that nature. Things that kept me out of trouble when I was little. It wasn't until I was teenage years, 17 years old, I took my first drink. Took my first drink at 17, and then I got into the drug usage. Then my life started sprouting out of control. Did a lot of traveling from here to there, to here to there, from Atlanta to New York, back to Atlanta to Alabama, then to Texas. Doing the same things over and over and over, expecting a different result. Just tried to like in intellectualize the addiction phase. Tried to outthink it when there's no outthinking it. Um, just kept making mistakes over and over and over and over and over and over again. So after that, I started going to the, the rehab process, started the recovery process, started meeting a lot of people talking about how it was in their life when they were in um, active addiction and how God had brought them out of it and how they sat down and listened. They started going to groups and started doing things that helped them out and um, changed their whole mindset, changed their whole physical behavior, changed their outlook on life. And I wanted that. That's what I wanted. I wanted to get away from that that terrible guy that I was in the past and go to this this, this functional, uh, normal human being that I know that God can allow me to be. So today I strive to be a productive member of society. Today I want to be a positive individual. I want to give back to the people that were like me when I was in those streets and I was on those bridges and I was in those tents. And now I want to spread some um, inspiration and some motivation toward their way to let them know that there is a possible chance that they can recover. You know, it happens one day at a time. It's not a quick fix method. Uh, you can't just expect things to happen overnight because it took me 20 plus years to be out there and to like, you know, just spin around and in that wilderness and, you know, lose a lot, you know, at that time. So going forward, I want to just remain teachable. Um, keep doing the things in which I know that's going to allow me to keep going in the right direction and, and don't look back. You know, so as every day goes by, um, just can be reminded that I have to stay connected. I must go to these meetings. I have to acquire a sponsor. I must do these things in which the book tells me to do because this is the antidote for recovery. And being in that position in my mind is going to allow me to, to transcend over to my physical action. So, so far, the Midnight Mission, being here these, these 60 plus days that I've been here in this short period of time has really, really been helpful. The Midnight Mission has allowed me to really grow as far as my inner being is concerned. It's given me a, a stationary position in life. It's given me um, food, shelter, things that I need to do. The primary things I need to survive in life and it's given me an onslaught of um, resources. You know, people that, that I can go to and I can, I can be myself and, and tell them my, my worries and my problems and my struggles and not have to worry about being judged or being talked about or, or like, you know, having to um, second guess myself. I'm, I'm really, really, really growing from that standpoint alone in itself. And I really, really thank the Midnight Mission from the bottom of my heart for that opportunity to be able to do that. But not everyone gets this opportunity. You know, so uh, as every day goes by in my prayers in the morning, I'm thanking Midnight Mission. When I go to bed at night, I'm thanking Midnight Mission. And I really thank my advocate, Mr. Eli, because uh, he really he's really opening up something inside of me that I never really thought I had. So with that being said, yeah, it's, it's really, 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 really a um, blessing and a privilege to be at Midnight Mission.